In all the years I've heard, I've known Dee, I've never heard her sound like that. Still all in all, dear, Dee is not one to hurt herself. What scares me is that I think right now she could be. If you take away Frank and all the rest of us from Dee, she's going to feel as if she has nothing left. Darling, she has her brother. Yeah, sure. She certainly has made a muddle of things. I only wish she hadn't taken little John with her when she decides to run off. Only Frank would listen to her. Darling, he did listen. He wasn't going to believe anything she said, no matter what. Pat, you cannot blame him for being angry with her and skeptical with so many lies. I think at least he could hear her side of it. Oh, Pat, please. Well, let's hope Father McShane can help, either in finding Dee or helping Frank understand what actually happened. Frank, I'm sorry I haven't heard from Dee in several days. I was just hoping. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I can't tell you how distressed I am. I was afraid something like this was going to happen. You were? Father, there's a few questions I'd like to ask you about Roger Coleridge and Delia. May I? If you like. I'll tell you what I can, Frank. on ABC and weeknights on SoapNet. I've never been happier. That makes two of us. We are finally moving on from Lisa. A jilted ex. Lisa is unbalanced mentally and emotionally. She's just as obsessed with you as she ever was. Patrick is going to pay for the way that he treated me. Out for one final act of revenge. You're going to be dead in an hour. You can't leave me down here. But next week, the tables will be turned. General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet. Do you love stylish, sexy jeans? Do you love soft, comfy pajama bottoms? Now get the best of both worlds with Pajama Jeans, the hot new fashion sensation that fits every figure perfectly. Pajama jeans look like designer denim jeans, mock fly, front and back contrast pocket stitching, brass rivets, and smooth butt lifting design. The pant leg flares to a stylish boot cut. The secret is the cotton spandex denim blend that stretches to fit every figure perfectly like a sexy second skin. Only pajama jeans Dormasoft lining feels as soft as a baby's blanket and as comfortable as your favorite pajamas. They're so comfortable, you'll want to sleep in them. It's a struggle to fit into ordinary jeans. They're uncomfortable and leave marks on your skin. But pajama jeans are so lightweight and comfortable wear them while working out. The unique fabric resists wrinkling, so they're perfect for traveling. Great with sandals or sneakers, or roll them up to a cute cuff. Best of all, pajama jeans fit virtually every figure, from petite to plus size. Give us your pant size, and we'll recommend the perfect fit for you. Pajama jeans are so comfortable, you'll wear them every day. Great for busy moms on the go, or a quick trip to the grocery store. A good pair of jeans could cost you $80 or more. But now, through this special TV offer, you'll get the designer jean fit with pajama jeans for just $39.95. To complete the outfit, as a bonus, we'll send you this gray crewneck t-shirt absolutely free. We know you'll love pajama jeans so much that we're offering a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you're not completely delighted, send it back. But keep the gray crew neck as our gift to you just for trying. Pajama jeans with the bonus gray crew neck tee, all for just $39.95. Now, enjoy chic, stylish jeans that feel as comfortable as pajamas. Call now. To get your pajama jeans and free t-shirt, call 1-800-730-9306 or visit pajamajeans.com. 
Delia claims that Roger was forcing her to see him, that she didn't really want to have an affair with him, but that he was blackmailing her. Frank, I know Delia's been seeing Roger for some time, and I know it's been a desperately unhappy situation for her. You're sure? Very sure. She was doing everything she could to break away from Roger, and only went on seeing him because he was threatening to tell you if she stopped. Father, are you absolutely certain? I mean, she could have been telling you one thing and Roger another. I don't believe so. She came to me and asked me to see Roger, try to persuade him to leave her alone. I did see him. He admitted that she didn't want to go on with him. He did? He justified what he was doing by claiming that Delia didn't know her own mind and said he was convinced that she loved him in spite of her protests. He was forcing her then. I have no doubt of it. Well, that much is true anyway. Roger is a very determined young man. There's just one other thing, Father. Yes. Delia claims that in the beginning, Roger got her over to his apartment under false pretenses, uh, fed her too much brandy, and then took her against her will, forced her. I see. Now, if that's the way it really happened, how did Roger ever get the idea that Delia loves him? Well, I suppose. I need to know how it started, Father. I need to know if it began the way Delia said it did, or if it was a real affair. Frank. While Delia didn't place what she said to me under the seal of the confessional, she did talk to me in confidence, and I don't feel I can violate that. Father, you've already answered a few of my questions. Well, what I've been trying to do is to construct things as the situation demands, and uh, all I can do is repeat that I do know that Delia was doing everything she could to break off with Roger. In other words, you can't tell me if Delia was being absolutely truthful when she said the affair began against her will. I can't tell you any more about that subject. That makes it pretty clear. The whole thing began as an affair, and then Roger didn't want it to end. <sighs> there is one thought I'd like to offer you. When you broke off with Jill and decided to devote yourself to your marriage, there was a period when you expressed considerable difficulty in dealing with Delia. You couldn't relate to her. I remember. During that time, I think she felt you might never provide her with the kind of emotional investment that she requires. She could very well have felt lonely and rejected and trapped in a marriage that offered her no hope. And began an affair then. Look, Father, I know that Delia... There's something to be said for Delia's side, and I, I'm not totally blameless. Right. If you realize that, then perhaps the situation is not beyond salvaging. I'm sorry, Father, but I can't agree. There have been so many mistakes and failures that I think we've passed the point of no return. Now, I can't believe that. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I do. But I don't want you to think that any of this has to do with Jill Coleridge. I wasn't suggesting that it did. I know, but I value your opinion of me. I don't want there to be any confusion. I am not leaving Delia to run to Jill. St. Aloysius Church. This is Father McShane. Yes, he is, Pat, right here. It's your brother. Thank you, Father. Hello, Pat. Frank, any luck in locating B? Uh, no. Then I think you maybe you get it. You better get right back here. She called and she sounded really serious about the suicide thing. If she calls again, you should be home. Okay. Right, I'll be home right away. Well, hurry up, will you? You're the only one she'll listen to right now. Oh, it's so frustrating just sitting around waiting. Hi, oh, darling, darling, you're home. How are you? Oh, it's Patrick, so hi. You. Got some sun, you look terrific. <laughs> Thanks. Well, what's going on? Well, we're just waiting. Delia's out there somewhere, and she's threatening to kill herself. Is she serious? I don't know. She might just be. God, help her. And protect little John. What a 
I don't like is the way I've been taking it. <laughs> the most terrible things about Dee Dee and the baby keep running through my brain. Ma, we'd have heard. Oh, you're a great comfort, you are. Tell me about the honeymoon. Where's Jack? He went on down to the apartment with the bags. Is he coming here later? I'm not sure. Mary? I'm sorry. Jack got very angry when I made us come home. He had some plans for the last two days of the honeymoon, and he resented family problems getting in the way. Well, I guess that's natural enough. Well, I don't see what's so unnatural about his being a little more understanding, do you? Oh, this thing is upsetting us all. <sighs> well, it certainly managed to make us realize our honeymoon was over. Oh, we've been having the most glorious time. <laughs> you will again, dear. Oh, sure, I know that. Only I can't help wondering if it's not going to be the same old trouble all over again. With me torn between my family on one side and Jack on the other. Why doesn't he even try to make an effort? Oh, well, you just have to give him a little chance to get used to being married and having in-laws. If he ever does. You think I should call him? If you want to. But would you go downstairs and use the phone? I want to keep this line open in case Deity tries to reach oh, us. Sure, it really doesn't matter. He knows where I am. Well, I'm going downstairs and tell your father you're home. Mm, maybe hear some news. He's been on the phone to everyone he can think of to get a line on D. Well, give him a coming home kiss for me. Tell him I'll see him in a little while. I'll do that. When I talked to Don on the phone, he said that you and Frank were getting at each other over D. Well, I'd say uh, we've all been pretty tense. Come on, Patty. Talk to me. Mira, it's really hard. Watching the way Frank's been treating Dee. The way Frank's been treating Dee? The way everybody's been treating Dee. Da and Mom and you right now standing there looking righteous. Oh, honey, I am sorry. <sighs> You're not a bit sorry, and that's part of the problem. Dee has a right to feel isolated and alone. Nobody in this family will listen to her side oh, of what on, happened. come on, Patrick. Do you buy any of her stories? Yeah, I do. <sighs> you know what really scares me? I think Dee's not too far off when she said that, that if Frank doesn't take her back, nobody in this family will have a place for her either. Except for you. Well, yeah. Well, right from the beginning, when she was a scrawny little kid with a sick father and an overworked mother, I, I've always felt a little protective about her. Back in high school, I used to have to look after her all the time to make sure she didn't get into trouble. You went with her for quite a while back then. Uh-huh. And ever since, you've always stuck up for her. Well, I like to think that you can still be friends with a girl after you stop going around with her. Patty? What? <clears throat> did, um... This is gonna sound... But did you and Dee ever go beyond being friends? Near. I know, but I just think it would help to explain some things. Did you? Yeah, for a while. I always wondered. I guess that's why you always take her side, huh? No matter what. It's not fair. I'm just trying to see her point of view, that's all. Well, sneaking around with Roger Coleridge was a pretty wicked thing to do. How can you have made up your mind when you haven't even heard what Dee has to say? Mary, aren't you going to listen to her either? Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. I don't want a homecoming like this. I love you. You can go on defending Dee until you're 96. It'll be all right with me. Thanks. You're a good friend and loyal anyway. You know, it's sort of a shame. What is? You really see something in Dee that the rest of us miss. Maybe it would have been better if you'd decided to marry her back when you were going together. Let Frank to find Jill later on. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. You know, somehow to me, the right person for Frank has always been Jill. <laughs> to be back.
years as Erica Kane. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. She's never faced a challenge like this. Oh, my God. This week, Susan Lucci like you've never seen her before. <laughs> Why do you have my face? Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. If you have trouble sleeping, the chances are you may have tried one of these sleep aids. They all contain diphenhydramine, a substance commonly found in cold medicine. As a medical doctor, I personally don't like to recommend any sleep aid to my patients that contains diphenhydramine. That's why these days I recommend Alteril. Ultra is a blend of three safe and effective ingredients, valerian, L-tryptophan, and melatonin. Ultra is like three sleeping pills in one. I believe Ultra is a wonderful, safe, and effective sleep aid. Try Ultra in the original tablet or the all-new fast-acting liquid form. We asked coffee lovers to come and try Coffee Mate's new cafe collection flavors. Then, we asked them to show us how the taste inspired them. Precious. New rich caramel macchiato. One of three new ways to add your flavor with Coffee Mate from Nestle. When Mike Rowe heads home, his family knows what to expect. But what Mike Rowe doesn't know is that his parents have armed themselves with unquilted Viva towels. Wow, for me? If Viva can handle Mike Rowe's mess, just think what it can do in your home. Grab a roll for yourself and grasp the unquilted difference. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up, so damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. You've been sitting there watching me all this time? Mm hmm What could you find to look at for that long? Well, uh, I was thinking how smart you are and uh, what a good idea it was bringing me out here. <laughs> well, you're not a city boy at heart. I'm aware of that much. Well, you know, the, the town I was born, Tuapistol, is about 150 miles away from the nearest city. Now, can you imagine living in a place 4,000 people set off in the woods? You grew up in a place where there were only 4,000 people? And I was never bored, always had somebody to talk to, something to do. You know, there was, there was always a, a peace and tranquility about it, too. That's something I miss living in New York. Of course. But coming out here with the sand and the, the ocean, the sky, I feel that same kind of peace. I feel the tension just oozing out of me. <laughs> I'm glad. I was hoping that this place would have that kind of effect on you. You are a very clever lady. Also a very nice one. Oh, come on. Now, that's enough. I don't deserve all of that. Probably much more, but I'm usually so hung up on my own thoughts that I don't always notice. Oh, sometimes you notice. Like this? Yeah, well, how could I help noticing when you're screaming and bleeding to death? <laughs> how is it, anyway? Much better. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's still a little sore, but uh, the throbbing has stopped. There you go. Well, just don't step on any clamshells. You'll be fine. I am fine. And ready to resume my role as gracious hostess. So, what would you think about uh, having some dinner? Tell me something. What, what made you mention that uh, just now? Well, I know you're feeling better. And I want to do everything I can to make sure you keep feeling better. Hmm. Well, that's, that's something I'm certainly not going to quarrel with. Uh, so you have a choice. I have a choice? Yeah. Steak or hot dogs? Uh, the choice is steak or hot dogs. <laughs> right. Now, you can go down to the beach and build a fire mm -hmm. where the nights are so solitary that you feel like you were the last people on Earth. So far, I'm sold. Well, then it's hot dogs, roast corn, and marshmallows. Everything we can cook on an open flame. Mm -hmm. Or else, you can build a fire on the hibachi outside on the deck, and we'll have steak and a salad, and I will bring out some of my father's best 
and favorite brandy. There's something you're not telling me. <laughs> that we save the brandy for only special guests? No, that you would prefer to eat on the deck. <laughs> you're right. You see, there is this breeze that crosses the ocean every night, and it does make the food rather sandy. Well, why did you say that in the first place? Because I wanted you to choose what you'd like to do. What I'd like to do? Well, what I would like to do is have a very quiet dinner with you, where you would like to eat, and what you would like to eat. Do you mind making the decision? No. I don't mind at all. I am just going to run upstairs and change, and then I will get dinner started. You bet. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. Her husband's disappeared. God, I'm great back. And she's given up hope. I know that my grief is gone. But when he miraculously returns, will Salem be big enough? I finally caught up with you, didn't I, you son of a bitch? For two wraiths. Watch Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 6 and 11 on SoapNet. My son has been missing. A father and son on two sides of the law join forces. We need to be prepared for a fight. But will this partnership turn lethal? You shoot, I'm just as good as dead. Put the gun down, or you're gonna watch your father die. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Coming up next week on All New Views, top dog American Idol judge Randy Jackson. You gotta sell it. You See know what I'm saying? Then, give it up for Grey's Anatomy star Chandra Wilson and Harry Potter heartthrob Daniel Radcliffe. Next week on All New Views on ABC. In case of everyday emergencies, it's important to be prepared for dinner. That's why I prepared my Purdue Perfect Portions fresh chicken breast. They're individually wrapped so you can cook what you need and store what you don't. Purdue Perfect Portions, ready when you are. When you come to eHarmony, I can promise you, we sincerely care about you. Experience the difference of a site that really cares about helping you find a wonderful relationship. Visit eHarmony today and review your compatible matches free. I'm Chef Michael, and my dog Bailey and I love to hang out in the kitchen. You love the aroma of beef tenderloin, don't you? You inspired a very special dog food. Chef Michael's canine creations. Chef inspired, dog desired. When you use Cottonelle Fresh Flushable Moist Wipes every day, you get so hooked you'll want to pass it on to a friend. Go to GetFreshWithAFriend.com. Tell a friend about Fresh and you'll both get a Cottonelle Fresh reward. So Fresh is always at your fingertips. A marriage made in heaven is hell for everyone else. Dad's new marriage could send her back to the bottom. Stay away from my son. Say I do to the young and the restless tonight at 7 on SoapNet. In all her years as Erica Kane. I want to be special, and I'm going to be. She's never faced a challenge like this. Oh, my God. This week, Susan Lucci like you've never seen her before. Why do you have my face? Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. These are the moments to Natalie! You hang on. It's gonna be okay. I love you. I believe in you. I promise. I have something to tell you. This is your baby. And... I've been in here for eight years? One Life to Live. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights on SoapNet. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has the status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, Bruce White's is back as gangster Anthony Zakara. At some turn of events. On The Young and the Restless, Emily O'Brien is saying goodbye to Genoa City. Another time? Daytime favorite Tamara Braun is Taylor on Days of Our Lives. Okay, I'll drink to that. And on One Life to Live, Roger Howarth is back in Landview. I have to be with my family. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet. We have a greeting number. I'll call you if I hear anything, okay? Bye, bye, bye. Well, we're lucky Delia's brother is a detective. He can at least set some kind of search in motion. 
crank. Hey, Mayor, oh, thanks for coming back. Oh, what else at a time like oh, this? Oh, even so, I'm so glad to see you. Thanks so much. Is uh, there any news? No, no word at all. I think I'll uh, go see if Don needs any help downstairs. How was the honeymoon? Oh, it was just wonderful. <laughs> Except for last night, I had the most frightening dream about you. Yeah, what? Well, I was sure there was something wrong. Jack kept saying it was a shrimp gumbo, but I knew you were in trouble. And this morning, I called home, and I was right. I'd know if you were in trouble, too, huh? I know you would. Oh, Frank, it is so irresponsible. I mean, Roger Coleridge is unspeakable, but then to run off with a baby, please. Dee sure does know how to get the last word, doesn't he? You don't think anything's happened? I don't think so. We'd, we would have heard by now if it was anything really bad. With all this waiting, you must be half out of your mind. Well, uh, the trouble is, I've run out of things to do, and uh, just sitting around waiting for the phone to ring does get you after a while. And uh, there's another thing that's bothering me, though I wish it weren't. What? Well, Seneca Bolak was released from jail, and Jill asked him out to the beach house, I suppose, to help him get away from things and recover. Oh, sounds like Jill. Yeah, well, I haven't got any claim on Jill, and God knows I wanted to be happy, but on the other hand, at the same time, I can't help wondering what's going on, how involved they are with each other. Honey, have you, have you talked to her since you found Dee with Roger? Well, I, I tried to call her at apartment, but... Uh, well, then I heard she was out to the beach house. I didn't want to call her out there. Boy, am I glad I came home. Oh, me too. Oh, Mary, you've always been the one I count on, even when there's nothing to do but sit around and wait. Damn, Dita, for doing this. John, you get some sleep. Mommy will figure something out. I've got to call them again. Frank, it's me. Delia, where are you? Did you reconsider? Did you talk to Father McShane like I asked you to? Yeah, I saw him, and he backed up some of what you said, yeah. Does that mean that I can come home? I want you to come home. Does that mean that you'll give me another chance? Look, Dee, come on back, and we'll talk the whole thing out. Or tell me where you are, and I'll come and get you. Did you say that we would try once more, Frank? Because I'm confused. I said come home, and we can talk about it. No, we Talk about it, Frank. If I come home, you'll take little John away from me, and then you'll end up walking out on me again. Dee, listen. No, I won't listen to you. You don't ever listen to me. What do I have to do, Frank? I mean, what do I have to do? The first thing is not to let yourself get carried away by all this. Uh, getting upset isn't going to help. But I am upset, Frank. I am very upset. Delia, please, just tell me where you are. Okay, if that's all that you're gonna say. I know exactly what I have to do. You find little John in room 1007 at the Hotel Sancerre. I won't be here, Frank. Mayor, she sounds serious. What? Call Bob for me and tell him that Dee's in room 1007 at the Hotel Sancerre and that she's threatening suicide. Well, what did she say? It isn't what she said. It was her tone. I'm afraid she really might do it. Honey, you get some sleep, and then everything will be okay. I have to do this. You don't look down. I guess you. You'll have to take me back. In Landview, rules were meant to be broken, and its residents will stop at nothing to get their way. Catch all the Landview shenanigans on an all-new episode of One Life to Live, weeknights at 9 on SoapNet.